everybody. Brian Davis from Statesman.com here at Boone Pickens Stadium tonight where Texas is a 28-7 winner over Oklahoma State. The big news tonight is the fact that Texas gets to a sixth win. They are now bowl eligible, something that a lot of people did not think was going to happen after this team started 2-4 and four this year. But here they are at 6-5 and five with one game left to go over TCU. And uh, the defense, once again, played very well. Oklahoma State had only 51 yards in the first half. 25 of those came on one play just before halftime. Lots of three and outs for the, for the OSU defense. Texas did a really good job of capitalizing on all that. Uh, Tyrone Swoops started the game 5-for-5. Five five. He led a 57-yard uh, scoring drive with a 19-yard touchdown pass to John Harris. Harris afterwards said, he said, that was a play they ran all week. He never caught it in practice, but he happens to catch it in the game. That was huge. Jonathan Gray with a 22-yard run on the next drive sets up a six-yard touchdown run. And then we get into some special teams chaos. Nick Rose, once again, he gets a 51-yard field goal, which was a career long, and then he clangs one off the upright off of a 21-yarder, but he comes back with a 34-yard field goal. Texas has a 19 nothing lead at halftime, which quite frankly felt like a lot more than what that score indicated. Nick Rose with a 44-yard field goal in the third quarter, and just as Oklahoma State looked like they were done, they sort of mount, mount a late push to get a sort of a garbage-time touchdown. Uh, and then sort of push things late. But Dylan Haynes scoops up a late fumble, uh, and then uh, Tyrone Suits also sealed it with a 45-yard touchdown pass to Armani Foreman. Afterward, you could really sense relief. Charlie Strong said, hey, we've come a long way. Quandre Diggs talked about how proud he was of the team. So did Cedric Reed and several other seniors. This team could have very easily folded, especially these seniors, but they have pulled it together and uh, gotten this team back to a bowl. Now, what bowl will that be? We don't know yet. It could either be the Texas Bowl or the Liberty Bowl in Memphis. There are some people out there already talking about a possible Texas versus A&M matchup in the Houston Bowl that I'm sure would drive everyone uh, crazy on both sides of the aisle. But uh, one more game to go, and that's TCU that's Thanksgiving night. We'll see what happens. Texas has a chance to finish 7-5. and five. But tonight, the Longhorns are winners, 28-7 over the Oklahoma City Cowboys. And that's it from Broom Pickens Stadium. I'm Brian Davis from Statesman.com, and we'll see you later. 